Gamma Knife is a focal delivery of a high dose radiation to a focal point, in this case being the brain. The radiation we use is uh, gamma rays and it's produced from a cobalt-60 source. Traditionally, people have always associated radiation with tumours, but in fact, we can treat um, blood vessel problems to the brain, things like AVMs, arterial venous malformations, which are congenital in nature um, and they are birthmarks in the brain. We also have things like glomus tumours. Uh, the other broad area we can treat with very well-known indications are things like benign tumours, meningiomas, uh, vestibular schwannomas, pituitary adenomas, uh, meningiomas, and then there's the whole um, area of malignant uh, tumours such as your metastatic diseases. The other uh, main indication is for functional uh, neurosurgery, things like movement disorders, uh, tremor, Parkinson's, and um, also trigeminal neuralgia, which is facial pain. You just have to look at the number of installations that have gone in over the last uh, 25 years. In Asia alone, there are about 126 installations. 54 of those installations are in Japan. Uh, Taiwan has about uh, eight machines. Um, and Korea, they have about 25 gamma knives. Um, and if you look at around this region, Singapore has one gamma knife, um, uh, one in Thailand, one in the Philippines. And I'm very happy to say that in Malaysia, we are the third installation and the first government hospital. So we have um, officially uh, commissioned the centre last um, Monday on the 18th of November 2019. Uh, thanks to uh, both uh, Roberto Martinez from uh, Madrid and Ian Paddock from um, Queen Square, London, we have now commissioned the, Un the Gamma Knife Centre in UKM. It doesn't replace traditional uh, brain surgery. Uh, in fact, it is an uh, adjunct uh, to the services that we provide. There are very uh, specific indications uh, for Gamma Knife um, uh, and its use. For example, if you look at certain tumours um, in the brain, you would still need um, traditional surgery to remove um, part, a good part of the tumour before making it a reasonable volume for Gamma Knife. Currently we have uh, four neurosurgeons, uh, two oncologists, we have two radio radiologists, one physicist and one radiotherapist. Since uh, last Monday, we've, we Today is our fourth day. We have treated about uh, close to nine cases already. So we have treated um, ABMs, uh, meningiomas, metastatic brain uh, disease, case of uh, trigeminal uh, neuralgia, uh, an acoustic neuroma, and trigeminal schwannoma. The thing with gamma knife, it is not that you treat it today and tomorrow you see the results. It will take a few years by the time you you see the results. So. Um, Maybe in two or three years' time, when we do the repeat imaging, we'll be able to see the results then. Well, I've been working in Gamma Knife for the last 30 years. I've been doing more than 7,000 procedures by now. And I have a very, very good experience with uh, benign tumors, metastasis, arteriovenous malformation of the, of the brain, and even functional indication like trigeminal neuralgia or uh, psychiatric diseases. It is not invasive for the patient, so there are no risk of the, surge, uh, of the uh, surgery. And in many cases, for difficult tumors, just a treatment with the gamma knife avoid the very risky surgery with bleeding and with very important side effects. And in many cases, in many cases of brain tumors, it is possible to remove part of the tumor. And the difficult part of the tumor, especially in very large lesions, can be treated by radio surgery in a very safe way. And please consider another possibility, very important, that with radio surgery, the patient have a second choice. I mean, radio surgery does not uh, <coughs> limit the, the possibilities of uh, surgery. 
it is complementary to the surgery, and this is very important. Well, the future of Gamma Knife is, is here, more than 330 units all over the world, more than one million patients treated, and it gives the opportunity to many patients to be uh, treated without risk. So there, will, uh, there is a great future for the, for the Gamma Knife. It doesn't mean that the surgery will disappear. The surgery, the surgery will be safer and more effective and more effective because of the gamma knife. It is a very, very safe treatment. Probability of side, effect, of side effects in general in less than 5% of cases. So it is very safe treatment in general. Very, very, very safe. It's going really well. They've got a state-of-the-art building. I think that's really important. They've got a, their own area. Um, it's a really nice environment for the patients. I think it's an excellent treatment, so if, it, if it's suitable for them to undergo gamma knife, then I think, or undergo radio surgery, then I think gamma knife is the, the preferable option. Well, it's, it's a state-of-the-art radio surgery device. It's the only uh, radio surgery device that has been designed ground up for uh, the radio surgery treatment of the brain. Absolutely, so I've been working there for the last four days um, with the clinical team. Um, we've got a great variety of patients that we've treated during this time and I'm really impressed with the interest that the staff have in learning to become better at what they're doing.